Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss about types of comedies. First we see romantic comedy. Romantic comedy is based on Greek new comedy and Roman comedia erudita, a composite genre which centers mostly on the vicissitudes that means ups and downs of young lovers who get happily united at the end. For example, A Midsummer Night's Dream and As You Like It, these were written by William Shakespeare. These were the examples of romantic comedy. Next, we see Restoration Comedy. It depicts a stylish society, mainly the upper and middle classes. It focuses on elegance with character of fashion and rank. Its topics are social intrigue, mainly marital and sexual and also adultery and cuckoldry. The most important playwrights of restoration comedy are William Congreve, William Wycherley, George Etheridge, Afro Ben and Van Brough. George Etheridge Love in a Tub which was written in the year 1664 and the comical revenge which was also written in the year 1664 are regarded first restoration comedies. When William and Mary took over the throne in 1688 after glorious revolution, they expressed dislikes for the theatre and the lawsuits was brought against playwrights by the Society for the Reformation of Manners in 1692. Next we see sentimental comedy. It is an early 18th century dramatic genre which sprang up as a reaction to restoration comedy. In sentimental comedies, middle class protagonists triumphantly overcome a series of moral trials. These plays aimed to produce tears rather than laughter. The best known of this genre are Sir Richard Steele's The Conscious Lover which was written in the year 1726. Colley Sibbo's Love's Lost Shift and George Farhuha's The Constant Couple which was written in the year 1699. The novels of Samuel Richardson are also called sentimental novels. Next we see anti-sentimental comedy or hot comedy. It was a reaction against sentimental comedy in 18th century which takes the form of restoration comedy like ridiculing the, the middle class. It is a comedy in which one does not use the emotions to evoke reflection in an audience. It has less vulgarity and profanity. Example Goldsmith's She Stoops to Conquer. It was written in the year 1773 and Sheridan's The Rivals which was written in the year 1775. Next we see comedy of humor. This comic technique may be found in Aristophanes but in English playwrights like Ben Johnson and George Chapman popularized the genre at the end of the 16th century. Ben Johnson's play Every Man in His Humor which was written in the year 1598 made this type of play very popular and again in his play Every Man Out of His Humor which was written in the year 1599 also made this type of play very popular. Ben Johnson's play Old Pawn and Orby Sheridan's play The School for Scandal are the good examples of comedy of humor. This type of comedy was aimed primarily at the representation of such characters as were motivated by their peculiar dominant passions or humors. According to Ben Johnson, the four humors as choleric, melancholic, sanguine and phlegmatic. Next we see comedy of menace. This term was coined by Irving Waddell from the subtitle of Campton's play The Lunatic View Comedy of Menace. Comedy of Menace is the act of threatening or danger. Waddell first applied the label Comedy of Menace to the works of Harold Pinter while reviewing his play The Birthday Party. He described Pinter as one of several playwrights who have been tentatively lumped together as a non-naturalist or, or abstractions. Comedy of menace immediately brings contradiction in mind because comedy is generally something that makes people laugh and the word menace implies something threatening. So this phrase involves laughing at an ominous situation. Harold Pinter's The Caretaker is also an example of comedy of menace. Other writers associated with comedy of menace are David Campton, Nigel Dennis, N. F. Simpson and Harold Pinter. Next we see dark comedy or black comedy. It deals with disturbing subjects such as death, drugs, terrorism, rape and war and sometimes related to horror. 
The term black humor was coined by Andrew Britton in 1935 in his book Anthology of Black Humor. In this book Britton credited Jonathan Swift as the originator of black humor in his A Modest Proposal which was written in the year 1729. Lawrence Stone's Tristram Shandy can be referred as black comedy in which Tristram is urinating out of an open window for lack of a chamber pot and the sash folds and circumcises him so it can be said the dark comedy is a comedy having gloomy or disturbing elements especially one in which a character suffers an irreparable loss Next we see ribaldry or blue comedy this comedy is sexual in nature where sex is presented in ribald material for the purpose of poking fun at the foibles and weaknesses that manifest themselves in human sexuality rather than to present sexual stimulation ribaldry may use sex as a metaphor to illustrate some non sexual concern the phrase blue comedy was coined by max miller who was born in 1894 The Miller's Tale in The Canterbury Tales is a very good example of blue comedy in which the carpenter's wife and daughter is seduced sexually. The Canterbury Tales was written by Geoffrey Chaucer. The other examples of blue comedy are Lawrence Stone's Tristram Shandy, Jonathan Swift The Lady's Dressing Room and Mark Twain's Long Suppressed which was written in the year 1601. Next we see satirical comedy it is about making fun of something while appearing to make it look good it is used to, to expose social problem and ills for example john rydens the medal and the mac fleck no the last one is farce farce is a comedy that aims at entertaining the audience through situations that are highly exaggerated extravagant and thus improbable for example shakespeare's the comedy of errors afro bins the robbers henry fielding's the author's farce charles dickens the lamp lighter anton chekhov's a marriage proposal cherry orchard and the bio these were the types of comedies with examples If you think this is useful for you you have to like comment and share and never forget to subscribe my channel thank you thank you for watching